What's going on you guys? It's your man James aka JP back again with another toy room review and today we're taking a look at the brand new Avatar Funko Pop Wave 2 of Funko Pops. Well, not all of Wave 2 because there has been massive delays with some of these figures and I was trying to get all the figures in at one time so I could do a video of the entire Wave 2 like I did with Wave 1. However, I have figures that have been back ordered to like the middle of September. They keep getting pushed back week after week after week. Uh, so these are all the figures that I was able to get my hands on as of right now. Uh, when the other half of the wave comes in, I will do reviews on those. Uh, but for now, I just wanted to get this video out and finally open these up and get them on display. So for now, this is all I have of wave two so far. For, so from left to right, we have Fire Lord Ozai, the Blue Spirit. This is a Hot Topic exclusive. There is a, a variant a chase figure of this one, the Glow in the dark i do not have that one as of yet uh, but i do have the standard one then we have the funko shop exclusive crouching ang uh, there is also a variant of this one that is exclusive to the funko hollywood store in california that is metallic i do not have that one yet but i plan to pick it up at some point in time and then also we have suki right here so We'll go through the packaging. We'll just take a look at Aang because the packaging is going to be the same for all of them. Uh, so the only difference with Aang compared to the rest of them is that he does have that nice Funko exclusive sticker right there. But other than that, I'm just going to move the light ever so slightly just to get a little bit better lighting. There we go. Uh, other than that, you can see Avatar The Last Airbender right up here and the respective numbers right there. Then on the side, you have the nice background of like the different elements right there. I don't know if you guys can really make that out, but that is really, really nice. And coming to the back, you have that same graphic going on in the back with the rest of the figures from this wave. Now for my Tai Lee and Amro Zhao, I have those ordered, but they keep getting back, uh, back ordered through Target and they keep getting pushed back, pushed back and pushed back. And my local Target hasn't got them in stock yet. Uh, so yeah, I don't know when these are coming in, maybe sometime in September. Uh, then same thing with the Aang Avatar State. I have the regular one pre-ordered through Amazon. That's also keep getting back ordered. And then the Target exclusive one, I was not able to pre-order it online on the website. So I have to try and find it in the wild but my store has not got it in as of yet. Uh, so I am missing those. And there is a Chase uh, version or an Amazon exclusive version of Admiral Zhao. It's not a Chase, but there's an Amazon exclusive version where he's holding fire instead of the money bag and it glows in the dark. I do not have that, but I do plan to order that and get that one in uh, very shortly one of these days. So that's uh, on the list. Uh, anyways, on the side, your typical Funko packaging. So that's pretty much it for the packaging. We're going to go ahead and get these guys out of the packaging. And then we'll take a closer detailed look at, if we can get it in frame, there we go, Fire Lord Ozai, the Blue Spirit. Spirit, Aang, and Suki. Alright you guys, so something that I did want to point out really quickly that I just noticed while I was opening the packages is a nice little detail, a light, nice little easter egg that not a lot of people are really going to notice and they didn't really have to do it, but you can see here depending what nation uh, the character that you're getting belongs to, you'll see that nation symbol uh, on the inside flap right here. So you have the Air Nation, the Fire Nation, and then of course the Earth Nation right here. So that's a really nice little easter egg. I don't remember if Wave 1 of the figures had that. I don't believe they did. Maybe they did. I don't remember, but but that's a really nice little detail that I noticed while unboxing these. Alright you guys, and here are the Avatar Funko Pops out of the packaging. So, right off the bat, I'm loving these and I'm hating these at the same time. And I'll go ahead and tell you why as we take a closer look at all of these here in a second. But let's go ahead and start from left to right. No specific reason, that's just the way that I place them when I want to do the review, whatever. We're going to keep going from left to right. So we're going to start with Fire Lord Ozai and... I initially, like, I was happy to have this one, but having it in person, like, I'm even more happy. This thing just looks absolutely incredible with this fire base right here. That's the biggest thing you notice from this. And he's really hefty because of this fire base. I mean, this is a really nice, solid piece right here. And I'm a really big fan of this translucent plastic that it has going on. You can see the yellows and oranges and, like, red hues going all throughout. Especially, like, if you start cutting lights off and have, like, just a little bit of light going through. It looks more like a darker red. And then you have like that look going on but then as you like cut some more light in there and just let some more light pass through it looks absolutely incredible man so i am really really excited uh for this piece right here i just love this fire effect now the rest of the figure does look very nice as well as you can see you have his fire lord outfit right there and he is kneeling down so that's a really nice touch. It is hidden by the fire and his hair, but you can kind of see his feet back there. So that's really nice, and the hair looks nice as well. It's just done in black, obviously, but the line work in there is very nice. And all the paint on here looks really, really clean. And then, of course, you have his um, hairpin, I guess. Uh, this was like the Fire Lord's crown 
uh, if, if you will. So that's very nice here. It would have been nice to see it as a more like shiny gold. It's more of like a like a brownish yellow almost. It would have been nice to see like metallic gold on here. But still, this looks very, very nice. I'm just a really big fan of this fire effect right here, man. That just looks absolutely incredible. So we'll go ahead and put Fire Lord Ozai to the side and take a look at the Hot Topic exclusive Blue Spirit. And I don't know if the camera's really going to... Uh, bring out the details that I'm very upset about but there's a whole bunch of brush strokes that you can see and this paint job on here is just absolutely atrocious this is one of the worst paint jobs I've ever had on a figure and I'm just very very disappointed in that especially because this was a Hot Topic exclusive and I did have to get this off of eBay so I did pay a little bit more than I wanted to for this one uh, I don't remember what it was maybe like 20 30 dollars but yeah not a big fan of this paint job right here, it's absolutely horrible. But other than that, the figure itself does look very nice. I mean, you got that really, really big, like, oversized mask, which actually looks kind of funny uh, in Funko form. But he's got, uh, like, a happy look to it. Uh, that looks, it looks like even more happy in Funko form. So that's, uh, that's interesting there. Then coming to the back, you can see it's just done in plain black, basically throughout, with all the, like, little wraps and ties being all done in a darker gray. And you can see the little sword holster right there on the back and from the back actually this looks like it could be like a foot soldier from Ninja Turtles or something like that like from the Ninja Turtles movie so that looks pretty interesting I wonder if they can reuse his body for something else but yeah looks very very nice there you go and there's really not much to this figure it's basically just black and gray like a black and gray ninja suit obviously and the big feature is uh, is obviously the blue spirit mask and Again, I'm just very disappointed in all these brush strokes. Let me see if I maybe cut the light down, if you can see it a little bit better. Yeah, just not not a big fan of all of these brush strokes here. And it's not like, it, it's like the wrong color paint too. It's, it's like, I don't know what they did, but it's like a lighter blue over this darker blue. It's just all, it's all messed up. But hopefully once it's on the shelf, I won't notice it too much. So... Uh, yeah, very disappointed in that figure. Uh, anyways, moving on to the Funko Shop exclusive Aang right here. This is the crouching Aang in his new attire from Season 3 when they go to invade the Fire Nation. So not only does he have his new outfit, he also has his new and upgraded staff as well. And everything on this figure looks very nice, uh, except for I have this little like brown spot of paint right here on the arrow. But other than that, everything looks really, really nice. I love this crouching pose that he's doing, and uh, I love how the clothes are just kind of flowing in the wind. Uh, that, that sculpt is really really nice and it really just like adds another layer to this figure to make it look like it's moving even though it is standing still and you do have the nice blue arrows right there yeah man overall i just i'm, I'm a really big fan of this figure i love the sculpt and everything man really really good again the only issue i really have this one is this brown little speck right here but that's not a big deal on this one nothing like the blue spirit but yeah overall this is a really nice figure and he stands up just fine i love how they were able to get like the hand uh, uh with that crouching pose to make it look you know to make it support itself with the hand and actually you know make it look like it's, it's standing right here i'm a really big fan of that so anyways moving on from ang we're going to go ahead and take a look at Suki. Now, when I started this video, I said I was pretty disappointed. It's really with the Blue Spirit. I'm just, like, so disappointed with that. The rest of these figures are fine. Uh, it's just the paint on the Blue Spirit that really, like, really irked me. Anyways, here is a look at Suki right here, and she looks very, very nice. And just like with Aang, they sculpted her to where it looks like wind is just flowing through her little tassels right here, as well as her hair and everything. It's just a really, really good looking figure. She's in this very dynamic, like, action style pose, like she's ready for combat with, of course, her fans right here. So that looks just very, very nice, man. I am a really big fan of this figure as well. I wasn't a big, like, I wasn't looking forward to this one as much, but now having it in hand, uh, yeah, I'm definitely a really, really big fan of this one here. So you can see all the nice details in the hair. If the camera would focus, there we go. You can see all that great detail. And I love her outfit as well, the Kyoshi Warriors outfit. And, of course, the face paint and everything like that. I wonder if we're ever going to get, like, a human version of Suki as well from Funko. But either way... Looks very nice, and she does come with the stand, so does the Blue Spirit. Uh, I didn't see if he can stand up on his own. I know she cannot, so if you take the stand out, she does not stand on her, her own whatsoever. So she absolutely does need the stand if you do want to have her standing up. Uh, and just because I was pointing out flaws, I do see a little bit of a little paint speck right here, but again, nothing too crazy. Uh, but let's go ahead and see if the Blue Spirit will stand on his own. 
Uh, he does. He does stand on his own. I thought he might be a little top heavy because of the head. I mean, he is a little wobbly, but he does stand up just fine. So you don't necessarily need the base for him. But definitely for Suki, you are going to want to have that base. And let's adjust that this way. And there you go. So there is half of Wave 2. These are the only figures that I do have in hand at the moment. But hopefully by the next couple weeks, I will have the rest of them secured and delivered to my house. But overall, so far from what we have from this wave, other than the disappointment with the paint job on the Blue Spirit, and again, that's not... Uh, gonna be the case for every figure it just happens to be my bad luck that i got those paint blemishes in that figure uh overall though i'm still really really excited and really happy to have these in my collection i'm a big avatar fan i have every avatar funko pop from wave one and it's my mission to get all of them from wave two including all the variants and chases and everything so uh yeah i, I really hope that they continue to pump out more um avatar funko pops i just I, I want them all. They're so awesome. There's so many amazing characters that they, that they can do. And hopefully it doesn't take them another like one or two years to make another wave like it did with this wave. So that's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. That link's in the description down below. And also be sure to check out some of my other avatar reviews that are popping up on the screen for you to click on in any second. So I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. So as always, guys, stay tuned for more. And I'll see you guys next time.